So I hope you'll indulge me for a few minutes, but I have a brief story to share this evening. See, a long time ago, there lived a young man, not that much older than yourselves, third graders, <laughs> called Isaac. He was a little older. Now, Isaac was a very nice young man with many friends. He was also, he was a sad man, Kitsatatsuf, because he had yet to meet his best friend in the whole world, the person that he would share the rest of his life with. Now, Isaac had tried. He'd been to the best bar and bat mitzvah parties. <laughs> he had profiles on all the best dating apps. <laughs> he even visited Starbucks from time to time in the hopes that he might catch just one glimpse of the right woman for him. Hey, at least he got his pumpkin spice latte, right? But so far, nothing had worked, and Isaac was a little desperate. And so he called upon his good friend, Eliezer, and asked him for help finding the right type of girl. And Eliezer said, you know, have you tried talking to a girl from the town where your father grew up? Isaac said, you know, I never, I never thought to do that. It's it's very far away, across the mountains, through the pass, in the small village of Encino. <laughs> and so Eliezer said, don't worry, I'll help you. So Eliezer saddled his camels, and he headed off for the treacherous journey to Encino. And he was hoping he could find the right type of girl for his friend Isaac. And because of how long and arduous the journey to Encino is, Eliezer got very thirsty. But on the outskirts of Encino, he found a well. And wouldn't you know it, right beside that well, he saw a beautiful young woman. And he approached her, and he asked her for some water. And she turned around and headed away from the well just like that. <laughs> and she said, sorry, I'm busy. Come back tomorrow. Eliezer said to himself, as he shook his head, he said, Self, that can't be the right kind of girl for Isaac. Though she is beautiful, if she only does nice things for people when it's convenient for her, I need to keep looking. And so now, even thirstier, Eliezer proceeded on. And lo and behold, there was another well. And wouldn't you have it, another beautiful young woman, even more beautiful than the first. So Eliezer approached and he said, can I have some water from your well, please? How much you got on you, the girl asked. <laughs> About 10 bucks, said Eliezer. Then you better keep moving. By now, Eliezer was distraught. He thought for sure in Isaac's father's hometown he would find somebody kind, but now he was thirsty, and he was dirty, and he was tired, and he thought to himself, how am I ever going to find water? And more than that, how am I ever going to find a date for my friend Isaac? And just then, Eliezer happened upon another well, and wouldn't you know it, another young woman. But this time, Eliezer was so tired, he couldn't even see the young woman before him. That's how tired and thirsty he was. But this time the woman came to him and she said, are you okay? You look thirsty, let me give you some water. What's your name? My name's Rebecca. And oh, I'm sorry, I forgot, your camels must be thirsty too. Let me get some water for your camels. And Eliezer thought to himself, aha, this must be the one. She doesn't even wait to do kind things for other people, she goes out and looks for people who need kindness done to them, for people who need acts of chesed. And when Eliezer drank the water that Rebekah had given him, so slowly but surely he cleaned off and he could see. And he looked and he saw that the girl's inner beauty radiated forth in her outer beauty. In fact, 
This was the most beautiful girl yet. Some of our scholars say almost as beautiful as Cantor Lamb's voice. (laughs) And so Eliezer arranged for a first date. and Rebecca met Isaac. And of course, the two of them lived happily ever after. Until they had kids. (laughs) But that's a story for next week. Shabbat Shalom.